welcome back to my channel. Today I have my beautiful wife with me today, and we're gonna do the part two of Ace Family Welcome to Our Life. So this will be our reaction to their video. We saw the first one together. We didn't make a video on that one, but we really wanted to make one for part two. So um, we're not gonna through the whole video on here because it's a long video, but we'll throw in uh, the big important parts that I wanna show you guys. So here we go. Catherine and I, we would have never thought we would be where we are today. Because I feel like everything happens for a reason. When did you start noticing your life just changing? It just has happened so much that it's like hard to pinpoint one thing. One thing. Life is completely different. Not only for us, but for the people who have millions of people watching. Mm -hmm. It's completely different. You have to live a completely different life. Mm -hmm. You have to walk on eggshells. Constantly walking on eggshells. It's very um, overwhelming. That would be the hardest part. Hmm. Like when they first started out, they were just like having fun, like making their videos. Like they wanted to make yeah, it their career. Yeah, that's kind of like. But now they have fifteen, like you said, walk on shows. They have millions of viewers every day, and they go out in public. Everything they see is like recorded. Like everybody's constantly on. I don't think I can record my life like that. I give them thoughts. Yeah, no. That's like a lot. Mm -hmm. And to the point to where we've been burned so many times that we don't really trust anyone literally like so many times right. like we shocking right anymore. we expected it we yeah. knew it was coming so for us when it comes to like friendships um it's sad because i have friends that i've known forever that i'm not i'm no longer close with because of they want something from me always it's never let's just hang out and be friends it's always like oh Let's hang out and then let's let's take a picture together so I can post it on my Instagram so I can show people who I'm with. And it sucks because at the end of the day, when I hang out with somebody, it's too... It's kind of deep. Yeah, like his friends are like using him for... Well, I just feel like you think you know somebody and then all of a sudden you just, you don't. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like I can definitely relate to that because that's... I mean, I've cut a lot of my friends out at one point because it's like after, after that point, you're just like, no, friends don't do that to each other. Yeah, the true friends definitely wouldn't, so. I kind of feel bad. Mm. When he gets emotional, it's like, it's I hard. know, I just feel <laughs> really bad. I'm like, oh. Let's continue. Hopefully yeah, there's something sorry. positive coming up. Here. Get away from all of that. It's to, you know, just be normal and hang out and catch up with, with a friend. Because at the end of the day, it's always just our family. Every day, it's literally Catherine and I, Elle and Alea. That's it. So we don't get to hang out with people. So when we do hang out with people, it's like a breath of fresh air. And so for them, in their mindset, when it's to ask us for something, to get something out of us, it's, it's a shitty feeling. This is our life. You know what my biggest like pet peeve is when people say, "Oh, they they just care about money." If that were the case, we wouldn't have started doing YouTube. Because when you first start doing YouTube, you don't actually get paid anything until you do it for a while and then work that. hard at it. And there's a lot of different factors. Like we didn't know we were going to be big. We didn't know we were going to be successful. We did it because we enjoyed doing it. Right. It was our passion. Like I said before, we're human, and we've we've made some mistakes. I mean, like we're not perfect, right? But Nothing it doesn't mean that we're bad people, you know. And and something coming out and circulating again is literally purely just to make us look bad. And Thanks. that's literally what it's for. Serious? It's not that serious. Even with no relationship, like it's not perfect. Everyone thinks that just because we smile in every single one of our videos that we don't go through problems, that we don't argue. 
but we argue just like everyone else. It's life. Can you imagine being in a world where good controversy is popular? Like right, and that's the flush. Sorry, that was a little late. But, um... Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> um, that was like you were saying, you know, like, if they want you to smile, like, they don't really see, like, Oh, like behind the perfect. scenes, yeah. Behind I mean, that's why they did this is to see like Show us past like, the videos that they make and past like just like how they got started, but the drama too behind it all. Like you wouldn't think that would happen, but it it did. it's sad because you they, they have this facade of being like this, like you know, this is how they are 100 percent all day, every day. In reality, they're like, like happy and perfect. Happy, and perfect. perfect. <laughs> But in reality, like, literally reality hits. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Re real reality? Reality, yeah. Reality hits. I said something totally different. I think it's up to me. Go. It doesn't matter. Sound like reality to me. But... Yeah. What do you want to do when you grow up with a laugh? Um, that you... I gotta do a video with I yeah. <laughs> but like I said, without, without any of the negativity and any of the controversy, like, you can't become stronger. You know, and I feel like I said, I, I, feel, I honestly believe everything happens for a reason. And we've obviously grown and adapted to, to our life be, being different. But as people, we've always been the same. The Ace family will never change. So, do you like doing YouTube? There's one person asks for a photo, and we take the photo, talk to them for a little bit, and then someone else comes, and then someone else comes. And it just kind of turns into this like domino effect where like I'm standing there for 20 minutes, you know, trying to, to meet everyone. I'm excited to meet everyone. And like they're so sweet and nice, like they're not gonna just be like, you know, <laughs> awesome does not look good right there. But they were not just gonna be like, you know, get out of here, you know, but at points you have to. Like, but what but what do you do though? Like do you stay at home and have people do it for you? Or I mean, are you just gonna stay at home and just keep be cooped up in the house all day? Like well, I, I would be going disguise, crazy. Like I'd be going nuts. <sighs> they gotta move to like a small town. I would move to a small town. That's what I, I mean. would. I don't even want to. Would want to even leave the house. That's what I'm saying. But I'd be going crazy just staying at home all day and having people do stuff for me. If like every single time I went out, I get stopped yeah. with my kids. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't do it. No. Nope. Mm -mm. nope. yeah. Want to meet everyone, but it's just I don't get anything done. And it, it come to find out, you know, we were supposed to leave for, you know, 10, 15 minutes and it ends up being an hour and a half. And that's just like daily living. That's just, that's like, just like every single day. Yeah, it's that's like, not even like. It becomes a production just to go yeah. anywhere. That's what I do most sucks to say that because we have kids. We yeah. want them to be able to go out and experience the world. Meet people, socialize. Right. All that kind of stuff. I don't want us to come off as being unappreciative and upset about it it's just it's no this is just us being real this it's is just, just it's just our lifestyle it's like we have never said this is a bad thing this is not a bad thing this is just something we have to live with I just don't think we're ready for it. and it, it just so happens to be to be worse for us because I, we're i think because it happened so quickly for them it it was too fast. Yeah, they personally. Did, it literally took like two, two years, years, I think, and there's like two. boom. That was it. That... So it wasn't even like a slow transition, like you know. Like it took them a scene, long time. It know, was literally go grocery shopping. Maybe one or two people know she. No, it was just like nobody knew you. Now boom, all of LA knows you, and now like to the, the whole point, world. Not even LA, the whole world knows. They're you. at their house constantly. Like ah, I have no privacy. Yeah, their privacy. There's no they privacy. They don't have anymore. I can't. Okay, go ahead. I don't know how Austin does it. Well, your wife and two, two baby, two baby girls. girls? Oh, mm -hmm. goodness. I freak out just you. <laughs> we're on a on a bigger scale. We're getting viewed by 
by millions of people, and we got millions of opinions every day about us. So what about people using you guys? Does that happen often? Ever since we started this, we've been in so many um, situations where we've been burned. We've literally learned from every single person we've hired, yes. every single person who's been around our family. There's been times where, like, we would think someone's great at something or yes. great for us for whatever whatever the job is, and then automatically it's like, oh, this person's making a live stream at our house while they're working. Yes. Or this, this person's person is taking pictures of L while they're diaper, working. In her diaper, L butt naked, her diaper, and it's in your phone now, like. We didn't know going into this that, you know, there's certain things that need to be covered before someone even steps foot into your home. Now our life has revolved around contracts and people literally have to sign, um, making sure that they don't do anything to hurt the Ace family. And it, it's not a way to live. It's not a way to live, but for us to be safe, we, we have to do it. There is times where I got to get out the house and, and drive and, and try to reflect and just think about, you know, my family and, and what really matters. And the bigger we get, the worse it gets. And it's kind of like that double-edged sword of, think, of, of wanting to show. I think once you get it, it's like, yeah, I got there. Like, I got what I, my goal. I reached it. Now what do I do with it? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, or how do you deal with it even? Like, well, yeah, I just... How do you do with it? What do you, how do you deal with it? I, like, I would never... It's like, for me, I'd be like, yeah, I got it. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> what, do I, what do I do with this like now? Like said, the bigger they get, the worse, worse it, it gets. gets yeah. You know? and, well, because you got to start getting more popular and so, like... I don't know. You just get so. They're just so loved too. Like that's the thing. Everybody wants to see them. Everybody. Everyone wants, wants more and more to meet of them. them. But like, then they're also more being. More. That's the issue. But here's the thing, though. I feel like, just people in general, we we're always wanting more. Yeah. No matter what it is, you just no, want more, right. more and more and more. Always and more. hungry. There's never. Uh oh no, it's okay. I'm okay with it. I just I kind of dipped into that, so I think I'm I'm solid. No, it's like okay, I want more of that. I want mm. more of that. Oh no, I want some more of that too. It's just that people are using them too. Like they're saying, people are coming to their home and live streaming from inside their home like look whose house I'm let me just in. tell you one thing if somebody that i hired number one to take care of my kids when i'm gone when i have to do errands or whatever i was doing and they're taking pictures and posting them of my child almost half naked oh he double hockey stick no okay <laughs> i can't uh-uh honestly i would tell Catherine, forget that at that point, like you really like, that's why they have the contracts, right? Is that what they said in the video? Yeah, they have to have people. That's what I would do too. I would, I'd probably say, here, you need to put your phone in this bucket. Yeah, Sorry. They probably like have... if you want to contact me, here are all the contact information that you need. If you need to call anybody here personally, here's something that you can call off personally. Like, you know what I mean? Like a, yeah. like emergency contact list. I understand nowadays, like in our day and age, no one can live out with a phone. But to protect my child, oh heck yeah, I'm going to make you not have your phone. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna take pictures of my daughter naked, half naked, whatever the case may be, posting it everywhere, best believe that's gonna be taken care of real quick. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't. I wouldn't be able I wouldn't, uh uh. Nope. Things but also one thinks to stay private. It's almost impossible, but I think I think when we realized that this is getting out of control was when um, we had someone come into our house at like midnight and for some reason fans would always come I mean they would come during the day the entire day obviously there'd be hundreds of people a day during the day but there would also be a lot of people coming at night time literally in the middle of the night at midnight I was seven months pregnant and you were seven six, months pregnant months yes pregnant. so it's me my barber and one of my good friends and we see this bright light coming into the house and we're like what is that and my friend but he was like wait wait let me go let me go check it out so he goes outside and there's a guy yelling saying you need to move your cars out of the street and you need to move all your cars out of the street because they can't be here you should get a ticket and as he's saying it i'm listening and i'm like wait what we never have security up here we don't have security in our neighborhood 
nobody comes up here at the at the end of our street up here on the top of the mountain. So instantly I knew something was wrong. Yeah. So he comes back in the house, he tells us, bro, I'm just gonna move him so he just leaves us, leaves us alone. So he hopefully goes away if I move him. So he moves the cars in the driveway, everything is good. All of a sudden he leaves. We're like, okay, good. Like everything is good. All of a sudden, ten minutes later, he comes back. So then I open the door. Oh no. Here's when he goes up to the car. Yeah, we're doing YouTube now, huh? Look, look, look. Doing YouTube. Look. Oh, I didn't know we were doing YouTube, man. Look, look. Mr. Austin McGroom. Look. We're doing YouTube now? What's wrong? Oh, I guess we're doing YouTube for sure. Yes, we're doing YouTube, man. Mr. Austin McBroom, we're doing YouTube now? And this is when I get upset because I'm okay. Like, I'm in my home, mm, right? This is the only privacy that we have. So my family lays their, lays their head at night. The girls are asleep, so I'm starting to get a little, like, you know, heated. So I get up, and I'm looking through the windows, and I'm trying to make sure, like, he's not with nobody. He doesn't yeah, have nothing that can hurt or... us. Um, I'm in. So at the end of the day, you don't know anything. No, right, don't know anything. You but don't know if there's people there. there. You don't know if he has a gun. You right. don't know if he has. And I'm getting a little nervous because he's in his car and I don't know what he has on him. Bro, what are you Look. doing? Now you're gonna go back to that house? Look at him, bro. That's I gotta deal with. That bullshit, bro. But at the same time, too, I didn't want to call the cops because I didn't know what he really wanted. I didn't want to, you know. Maybe he just cops. wanted to say hi. I didn't. Oh, I didn't know. No. So I didn't want to call the cops on him to make him seem like a bad guy. I gave him yeah. the benefit of the doubt. And that's one thing is we've never called the cops on anyone. anybody. We ever. always give people the benefit of the doubt because we know what we oh, do no. for a living. And he's like yelling back and forth with us, having a conversation, literally recording us. He pulls out his phone and starts recording us. And everything right on you. Bro, 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 this is crazy. Bro, bro. This is what I got to deal with. Bro, what really, you doing bro. Like my G? Really, bro. Get the Look what he's doing, bro. You, just, you were just talking all that, bro. bro. You're supposed to live all you your came, family members. You came members to my house at, at, at midnight, filming my house while I'm getting a haircut. Dude. This dude right here, Ace Family, you know I never do this. You know I... You guys are pumped. He yeah. Like, if that was me, you know, props to Austin for keeping it I, real because well, he would have been dried out of his car. That I was know, me. For There's real. no way I would have put up with that. Oh, oh no. Dude, props to you, Austin. You had the patience for this kid. I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you did it either. That's insane. Uh -uh. Especially like, I especially think it's the fact that like he has his girls in the house, and you don't know what this man's capable of. You don't know what he has in the car, like he said. You know what I mean, like. He could have had anything. And all of a sudden he's saying, oh, this is how you treat your fans? Like, bro, are you yeah. insane in the membrane? Or are you just playing out, you know, just something upstairs just not right? No. That's sick. Charity basketball. You know I never do this. This dude right here, you see his license plate. Really, bro? Good. You I'll see, you see, here, you see who he is. He came to my house at midnight when I'm getting a haircut. My barber's right here, as you can see. Now we want to do stuff. He came to my hair, he came to my house trolling. With my family inside, my daughter sleeping. You come to my house, you fill my address, really, acting like you're security. You really? lucky I don't beat your ass. Check my Instagram. Right. You lucky I don't beat your ass. I think he's doing this to get on his page. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's like that's like the whole reason why he's doing it. Not because of like prank, prank. Really move your cars. That's really a prank. Get some new material, sweetheart, because it ain't gonna work. No, yeah, like they were saying in the first video. He even said his Instagram. You just, did you hear that? Yeah, they said. He goes, "Oh, my Instagram is." Blah, blah, blah. I don't even, I don't even know what it is. They they made it in the first video. They said like this stuff happens all the time, but they don't actually post it on their channel because it's just gonna heat people up to do it more. You know, like it's like, it's, like it's, adding it's, more fuel to the fire. Yeah, but you because, heard him though. Like he was just pretty much he flat out was like, "Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram." Blah, 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 blah. It's like a publicity stunt. Like he wants Austin and them to. He's Austin trying to use Catherine them to, pretty much for yeah, a little bit of fame. To fame, for fame, yeah, and that's sick. And honestly, if I was to find this dude's page, I would just go on there and say some dirty stuff, and that's it. I would never follow this loser. Nah, I'm sorry. Yeah. You, bro, but you're, very you're, very you're very lucky. You're very lucky. You're very lucky. You know how I am. You watch my videos. You know what type of per. Hey, hey, look, look at me. It was just so bad and so scary that it could have been worse. Thank God it wasn't worse. Because this is the, the first time where I had any type of interaction with someone that I knew wasn't safe. But in the, the day, 
it seemed to be a fan, seemed to be someone who watches us. Um, After that moment, that's when it got real. I was like, okay, um, security has to be around. We got to start maneuvering a little differently. We're not going to start showing as much because that could have definitely ended ended bad. Not too long after that is when we got our house broken into, and that I think that that was it for us. I think we we almost lost it, <laughs> and for it to happen at the time that we take an Ace family member out to Disneyland with us is crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, you know what the worst part about that was? It wasn't even necessarily that we had our house broken into. It was the fact that it happened in front of millions and millions of people and for a reason, for a good reason. But people not actually believing that we had our house broken into. People pretending that, you know, we hired police officers and, yeah. or actors or yeah. whatever. I think part of it, too, was they didn't necessarily believe it because we never showed our privacy. We never showed them how crazy it was at our house. Yeah. It's you know? like it's we, like always, a... we always put it underneath the rug about our privacy we never really talked about it and i feel like this is so good for them to know that we literally had no privacy and this is a big reason why our lives are completely different and why they had to change and are changing mm -hmm. regardless of, of what people say about us we've always been the same from day one and we'll they moved to an all-glass house is that what i'm hearing it sounds, I'm getting kind of confused. I went I'm from apartment to apartment to, to the, house the house that they show that the whole gated, montage right? on. Yeah, and the yeah, gated, yeah. That, yeah. And now they're in an the all-glass house? Unless you're talking about that one they were just at. I want to say, I was I'm like, if they're in an all-glass house, I'm just like. Yeah, because it's a long driveway. That house they're at, it, doesn't, it, it wasn't that long a driveway at all. So it can't be it. I hope not. Around. I was like, uh. I wouldn't want a whole glass house. I want everything just enclosed. But they're nice. They look nice. I wouldn't want. I would, <laughs> honey, if I want to walk around my house with my underwear and my yeah yeah t-shirt, well, I want to walk around my underwear and t-shirt. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't want to walk around like having to like, feel like be being conscious watched. of being watched. You know, like that's well, you know scary. me. I don't even like having the windows open. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't even like the window. He doesn't even let me have the windows open in the house, and I want some sunlight. In. And I don't have 15 million oh. subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, ah oh man, I don't know how they do like. It. I let you let alone don't even let me open the windows, and I'm no. When myself. you're home alone, I'm like, no, keep the windows shut. I don't need them to see you by yourself or just you. Period. You need to get cameras so you know. I do have cameras. <laughs> oh, well, it's kind of like now. <laughs> Whatever you do, who cares what people think? Because regardless of what you do, people are always gonna say something. That's sad. And now I see why nobody does it. So for the safety of our family and our daughters, obviously we have to make some adjustments, you know, so that we can, you know, feel free again. And feel safe. <laughs> Should we just tell them? What are you going to tell us? Is that what it looks like? Oh, you go back. Right there. Should, should we just tell him? Yeah, ah, see? Are they building a new house? Yeah. That looks like a new house. That's huge. That's really big. They must see, be that's a little like... too big for me. If that's the house. If this is the house I think they... about building. They, yeah, they must have, like, I don't know. That's going to be, like, their own property. Like, their own, because it looks like in the top of a mountain. Like, there's nothing around it. Yeah, but that's a lot of Yeah, you see it, but. That's, like, out in the woods. That's out in the middle of nowhere. Obviously, we have to make some adjustments, you know, so that we can, you know, feel Where's free again. Feel safe. <laughs> teasing us. So I was like, what? Sh should we just tell them? something different. Feel safe. I should just be that thing. Anyways. Oh my god. It looks like it was 
in the middle of like nothing. Like the end of the first one, they made it seem like they're gonna be done. Yeah. Done. Now this one is kind of more towards. You like know, a new chapter, maybe. We bought a house in the middle of like nowhere. That's what it looked like. It was like forest around them almost. Like all those trees look like trees around it. And they're building their own home. Probably gonna have gated all gated all around. All around, not just gated all around. I think they'd have it like. They're gonna have at least a quarter mile to the, any type of road, probably. Yeah. So nobody can get in. No. Which is good. They need their privacy at home. Like, like they need like a gate. Like, you know how like some like um, subdivisions how they have a gate at yeah. the start of the whole thing, but then like you drive up. Mm -hmm. And it's super like in the middle of nowhere, and then all of a sudden, then there's houses. Yeah. But houses are all spread out. Yeah. You know what I mean? That would be good for them too. But you know what I'm talking about? It's like the like the big old long, like it's like a little oh, pretty little trees and cute little woodland creatures, and like you see all the scenery, and then big house yeah. hidden, big house <laughs> hidden. Big house, and then you have that one big house on top of the hill, and you're like, oh, dang, it's hidden. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> What's, uh, what would you say? What are your thoughts on the part two? I hate it when they cut it off in the episode. Every episode they cut off, it's like, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh. I don't think they're leaving. I don't see them leaving. I don't think so. I think that they're just going to, like. I think they're, where they're moving to. Moving to is being more private. To where, you know. Their followers can't get to them, which is good. I think it's good, but I think I feel like no matter where you go, I mean like, they're gonna try. But I feel like it's gonna be more like secluded versus it being like included in the area. Yeah. All right. That was a great episode. Can't wait for part three. March sixteenth, as you Woo! can see. <laughs> I know you can see. Oh yeah, they can see it, huh? Mm -hmm. So. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we weren't saying a whole lot. I mean, there's a lot to watch. I was really, I just wanted to watch most of it. But uh, yeah, that, it just killed me. Like, I don't know. I give Austin a lot of props for um, being like as patient as he was with that one guy and all the other times before. Yeah, that was it. something. I, you know, especially having, I keep saying wife, but having his girlfriend and his two baby girls. No, know. they're pretty much married though. Oh, yeah. I mean, she has the, she has a ring. Didn't he propose? Yeah, yeah he did. He proposed. She has a ring. I remember. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. My brain's all there. I have work tomorrow. Oh, you're good. So, anyways, uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Try to get this one more involved, but I end up spending money when she gets involved in vlogs. <laughs> the yes challenge. <laughs> if you guys didn't see that video, go check out the yes challenge with this one. That was. I wish I could report paintballs though. That was interesting. Okay. Bye.